Shocker. Absolutely shocking. Oh my god, this is shocking. Absolutely horrendous. There's another one off as well. Welcome everyone to the beautiful Road America, a fan favourite and particularly a favourite track of mine in my top three for sure for this week's Proto GT Challenge. And this week, guys, in this race in particular, we have an opportunity for our first win in this series. As you can see, we're lining up second in this split. A bit of a mixed split in the, in the GT1s today, um, ranging from... Uh, a 5k i rating driver who you can see in the blue aston martin all the way down to around uh, 1k i rating so a mixed split but you know what guys wins are few and far between for myself i don't win a lot of races now and um, not because i'm not necessarily capable but because i'm always in top split in super formula coming up against guys who are just aliens a good one and a half seconds quicker than me per lap and likewise in this series as well a few races i've done guys are seasoned pros in this series or in these cars and they just whoop my ass but today we had an opportunity a good opportunity we was only a few attempts off of p1's qualifying lap time i'm getting quick around here and road america is a track i like so can we do it can we win our first proto gt race and our first race in i can't remember the last time we did win one so Let's get into it. Remember to hit the like and subscribe button, turn those notifications on, and enjoy. All right. Okay, let's go. When are we going to start? Because they go ahead. Early, he's gone well early. Take those. Good start. There's an incident in turn five. Yellow flag, watch out. Car right, clear right. There's an incident in. Come on, ACDs, get a move on. Oh, he's rejoined the track and taken that P2. Shocker. Absolutely shocking. Oh, my God. This is shocking. Absolutely horrendous. There's another one off as well. Terrible driving standards. Yeah, I feel sorry for Peter there. I feel sorry for Peter because he's done absolutely nothing wrong. Shocker of a start. P1 and P2, just like that. P6 is up to P2. Seems like it's been absolute carnage. Right. 
Right, Emiliano's no slouch though, so. Well, the guy's behind, so. Looks like P4 has binned it in turn 5. Although I just said P4's binned it in turn 5. Crazy. Head down and focus now. Chasing the HBDs. You're in the lead. That was a two zero zero point four. So far, so good, James, yeah. P1 basically went, here you go. Although he's now back into P2. The gap behind is now 7.5. Just smurfing. Can't wait to see Reddit after this. Yeah, lots. It's a shame we're going to have to jump straight into Super Formula because we've got lots of unpackage from the start. Zero, zero, point two. I love these cars though, man.
broke bit out. Uh, Friday. No, 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 no. no. was at 159.9. Behind is now 7.4. Now the rubber's still really good on these uh, on this wheel. I don't wear gloves with this at all. I think I'm wrong. My hands get a little bit sweaty, but I don't struggle with grip. Indeed. Doesn't even require that much of a lift there now. Ah, no problem. We're racing, right? This is fucking great, mate. Keep it coming. 20 minutes remaining. You've got 20 minutes left. But it's too much to guys. Yeah, that was a two zero zero point three. That was a bit slower. Not sure why. Behind is now 6.9. Much better carousel there. was that last corner. Hey, Jensen. You've just done a 159.8. You're matching race pace. Yeah, 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 it's not full throttle. We'll just run out of road. Too much weight in these cars.
main things. Oh, Dan, Dan, Don, definitely quicker than me. And he's chipping away. Your lap time was 2.00.1 zero, zero, seconds. Sector 2 is two tenths off the pace. Your lap time is pretty consistent. Did a 59 free there, wow. Pushing. Well, catching's one thing, overtaking is another, Incident isn't it? In. Turn five. The guy behind's catching. The gap's now 5.8. It did a bit, yeah. I must admit, George, it did. Keep it up. We're looking good here. 15 minutes left. Not Long as effective distance. as caffeine, but good. yeah, yeah. I think he's taking the kink flat out. You're matching race pace, this is good. I mean, if it is fair play Come to him, I don't think I can. I don't want to risk it. No, we're all back. Fair racing here, so how? I will have a good team, man. With Klebstoff, then you have to go to the battery to your battery, right? Yeah, yeah, is now 7.1 that was a terrible carousel that's half fuel you've used half your fuel Sliding down a little bit. Yeah, I was better that time, Ian. Much better through there that time. That lap was a 159.9. Car approaching. He's racing us for position. Yeah, Don't expect cross, a good flag. You never know.
right. Clear right. So much understeer there. There's an incident Worst place. Bill Mitchell bend. Right. There's just a horrible place for HPD to overtake you. Gaps now. 5.8 seconds. On the dirty line. 10 minutes to go. That's 10 minutes left. This is brilliant. Keep it up. There's an incident in. Turn 14. Phil Mitchell Benz, yeah. <laughs> Last lap was a 201.1. You're two tenths off the pace in sector one. Sector two is 0.8 off the pace. Sector three is 0.7 off the pace. Oh, we've actually got. Um GT1s in here. GT2, sorry. Oh, too early of a downshift there, Scott. Patience. Andy, him going off there. <laughs> Definitely one way to let me through. We're trying, James, we're trying. <laughs> that lap was a 200.3. Zero, zero, Where's the next HBD? Emery, seven seconds away. Three laps remaining. After this one, anyway. ASMR. Nothing's ever a given in this series. There's a faster car approaching.
Hey, Brad. Clear left, left side, clear left. Clean. That's five minutes remaining. We can win this. That's what we wanted. Ten minutes of fuel remaining. I really do feel dirty here off those HPDs. Even in these big... Big cars. You're coming up on a slower class car. Oh my god, I've never seen a car break so early. You're being caught by the LMP2 class cars. Blue flag. Horrendous poxy place. Now I've got a. On your right. Clear right. Left side. Clear left. Sector 3 is chill, Scott. Chill, the Scott. Lead. Uh, no, Brad. No, I've got all my graphics kind of turned down, actually. <laughs> I've turned the sharpening on. That makes a difference, but... The gap behind is now 4.8 seconds. Oh, I've been pushed out to an extra lap, man. Two minutes to go, two minutes. Still two more lap. Oh no, one more lap. Yes, come on. One more lap, you're P1. You've just done a two, zero, zero, point two seconds. Lost that wife that come on, come on.
There's a faster car approaching. Come on! Oh, it's been so long since I won a race. First Proto GT Challenge win. It may have been slightly gifted. But well come done, on, guys! Great win. Win. Oh, get in there! Yes! That is, might seem light to some people. Why are you celebrating so much? But you know what? I don't often win races now, being in top split a lot. Ah, oh, yes! And this car, this car is so easy to make a mistake in as well. So, yes, guys. Yes, guys. First win in the bag in this series. Oh, of course, as I just said, a little bit of help, but you have to take it uh, when it's presented to you. And, well, it was presented to us at the <laughs> before the race had kind of even started because um, I do apologize if I mispronounce your name. If it's Dan, Dan. Uh, I'm going to go with Dan uh, because of the double A. Um, he had a wobble into the last corner. He caught me off guard by going as early as he did. So let's have a look at exactly what occurred here and what caused him to have such a wobble. So completely got the launch on me. And here we go up to the last corner. Oh, oh, wow, 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 wow. So let's, let's rewind that back. And we can see here just really slow this down if you watch his left rear tire here you can see a puff of dust and dirt be thrown up there however however i've seen this happen before at this exact spot where it's kind of a a phantom dirt spot dust spot shall we say um because if we go onto his rear tire, we'll be able to see exactly where it makes contact. Does he even get onto the grass? Well, I don't think he does upon that first look. And if we have a look here, I mean, he's close, isn't he? He's close, but he's not actually on the grass. He's not on the grass at all. Right there. And this is where he loses it. And it seems to be, I, I don't know. I don't know if this is something that happens because of other drivers in front. Of course, the HPDs go through and they leave dirt. But I've seen this in other series here, open wheel series as well. But this particular spot, it, it, it kind of like, it's like the grass textures or the dirt textures edge out onto the track in that exact spot. And of course, that sent his rear snapping a little bit. Of course, these cars, especially with cold tires, cold brakes, full fuel at the start of this race, um, he did well to, to not spin it, to be honest. And he had made a great recovery into P2. And definitely, well, um, I was watching my relative throughout that race because I know how quick he, he was. He was putting in some very, very good lap times. One, it's so easy to make one mistake in this car and you lose three seconds, four seconds, just like that. Um, so yeah, bit of a bizarre one there. Uh, I don't think uh, Darn did anything wrong, but I'll take it, <laughs> that's for sure. So that was his mistake. That's what gave us the lead. And then we was very fortunate with P2 getting caught up in a HBD rejoining. So just have a look at my raw reaction when we had a quick look back at this on stream. Peter, who had the issue with the HBD, up here absolutely terrible terrible driving look at this look oh he... <gasps> how did i not die how 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 did i not die how did we not die <gasps> Oh my god! Oh my god! We was that close to not getting our first win, basically. Oh my god! Wow! Wow! wow, 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 wow. So an absolute shocker for Peter there. So so fortunate that 
we got through that again. Um, you have to take your luck when it comes to you. We are this close, as we said, to not winning our first race in this series. But look at that. HBDs rejoining all over the place. Each of those both protestable offences, in my opinion, for uh, unsafe rejoins. I mean, look at your relatives, guys. Look at your relatives. That HBD did very well to avoid that car. I've got a feeling there's going to be some incidents to review here, guys, uh, particularly with the HPDs. So let's head into those incidents and, and see exactly what occurred throughout this race. All right, here we are. Oh, so the first incident is actually with the GT1s. Oh, just a love tap. Just a love tap. Guys, use your brakes. Although, actually, to be fair, I take it back. The guy in front brakes quite early. Quite early. Oh, he's lost it on entry. Oh, and then just get ab gets absolutely collected. Damn. Ah, uh, yes, this was, of course. I mean, he didn't even wait, did he? Oh, my God. He didn't even wait. He can't just disappear. Oh, that was close. Oh, wobble, wobble. He hit the same phantom dirt patch. The same phantom dirt patch that Don hit on the formation lap. Oh, oh. I didn't expect him to go the other way. Oh, no. Oh, you're okay. No, you're not. Oh, same guy again. Oh, no. Oh, 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 oh. Just got tagged by two HPDs. <laughs> kind of their own doing, unfortunately. Oh, no. What is that guy doing? Oh, is this the same? Is this the same one? It is the same. How's that car still intact? I swear it lost its rib, rear wing. <laughs> oh, now he's crabbing. <laughs> that is a crab and a half. <laughs> and here we go, guys. Here are the results. That was all the incidents that were involved. Uh, a fair few there. But here we go. All green across the board, as to be expected, finishing P1.42. Safety rating gained, 88i rating gained. A good gain there all round. And if we scroll down, there we go. There's the all-important Gold Cup. Yes. P1 in the GT1 class. Um, Don, a great recovery by him, finishing in P2. His fastest lap was a 59.39 and mine was a 59.7. So, yeah, he definitely had the pace on me. Um, but yeah, you can only be what's put in front of you at the end of the day. Uh, so yeah, happy days, guys. My first win in the Proto GT series. Hopefully it's the first of many. And as I said, I don't win many these days. Uh, so yeah, it might not have been the flashiest of wins, but for me, it definitely felt intense behind the wheel. And yeah, been remembering this one for a while. So hope you guys enjoyed that. Remember to hit that like and subscribe button, turn those notifications on, and I'll see you for the next one. Bye.